Hey friends and welcome to the daily message for Friday, February 5th. Let's see what's going on in the world today. Wrapping up the work week, which in and of itself is an accomplishment. You should feel very proud of yourself for making it through one of the most challenging weeks of the year, in my opinion. We have conflict, look within, and impromptu in reverse. Also look within is in reverse. So I'll just show you really quick the artwork of these cards. This is an amazing oracle deck. Check that out. So um, conflict um, could be that in, I think that what I'm getting is that some sort of conflict was avoided, as in your you were the bigger person in a situation and maybe turned away from a situation where nobody um, can win. It's almost like you know that pushing forward right now isn't really what is required. Um, that's what impromptu in reverse is sort of saying to me is that something requires more time and a little bit more planning and that's because if you were to take action now it would cause some conflict as in it's not addressing the actual needs of your either your needs or the people involved in the situation and so then the message the larger message here is to look within for those answers find find a deeper connection to your to the issue or situation that you're dealing with before you make a move We have strength underneath. Yep, strength is compassion in the face of fear, compassion for oneself. The world, something closing off here, cl or closing up, putting something behind you. Uh, the Six of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Devil, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands, wow, the Wheel, whoa. Five of Swords and the Hermit. There's that look within again, right? Looking at the details, the planning. <sighs> Torn between wanting to move forward with a situation, um, but what I'm getting is that there's like some sort of healing. It's almost like you want to ride the bike before the training wheels have totally come off. You know what the feeling is like for me? You know, I never understood training wheels because I always feel like I always messed up riding the bike with training wheels because my training wheels on my bike or whatever, whenever this happened to me, it must have been when I was much younger, the wheels were like not on the ground, on the side. I know that's almost like the equivalent of like putting up the bumpers when you're bowling. Like if you were to tip over it, they would catch you somehow, but I really didn't find that to be the case it would be like you tip over a little bit and like it totally veers you off course and so that I think is the challenge here where it's almost like I got this I got this I know the right decision to make here is to wait because it's almost like um, you've been learning something or healing something juggling something like maintaining some sort of um, equilibrium so I, what I'm getting is like you've been, you've been processing something that has been challenging. So to me, that that could be something like of like a healing, like a karmic thing or a pattern or. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's like you're putting something away, something that has felt like has been a crutch. And so you're seeing and understanding how you've been playing into that what is it the um the bumper the bowling bumper what did i just say the training wheels i think the devil here is representing how we can be tempted to our old ways um when we're not really thinking clearly or when 
we're really just conditioned towards something. Um, and when you move too quickly, you can always risk going or falling back into something like that. But what's showing up is that there's like a tremendous amount of energy wanting to move forward. But there's always this caution of, have I totally moved on from this? Am I ready to take on the world as like this new, with, with this new energy? Or am I going to keep, have to keep relearning this lesson? I feel like that's why there's a little bit of, um, there, there's got to be some sort of planning or tactic to this. And tactic is a weird word to use because it can insinuate sort of manipulation or just strategy, but it's not really meant to be that way. It's just more so like, how am I going to balance, you know, this coming up when I know that I respond to it this way? and you're training yourself to respond differently. Um, so strength underneath, as the energy underneath, really says to have compassion for yourself. And sometimes that means allowing things to take more time. The wheel and the world and the devil are here. That's like some insane, powerful energy. This stuff is like karmic destiny also like really deeply connected to your your heart space your center also like if the devil is our desires then your solar plexus it's like it's it's so ingrained within you i think overall this is really positive because it shows that you're growing as a person um, and really the reminder today is maybe simply to look at the details of how you've been changing and what that means for how you might face an upcoming decision, right? Don't be too, um, don't be so forward that you ignore any sense of consequence, but also you deserve to move forward with your life. So there's that careful balance. Let's get some advice, even though I feel like that message was really some good advice, if I do say so myself. Let's see the Eight of Wands in the center. What wants to come in or what's moving very quickly here? The Three of Wands, the Emperor, and the Six of Wands. Okay, so it was like I was saying, this Eight of Wands in the middle it comes from this desire to want growth, want to expand in some sort of direction. You're really trying to show off these new skills that you have, or um, maybe you're just like anxious to utilize them in your life as a way of, of growing and, and manifesting the things that you want out of life. You want to prove to yourself and to others that um, you've done it, that you've, you know, you're, you've either grown or that you have some sort of control over your life. I don't know why it's showing me that you want to be seen this way, or maybe you've changed so much that others can't help but notice. And that's also invigorating you to, and motivating you towards expansion even further. And you're like, I can't wait. I can't wait to, to um, you know, try out these new wheels. We're continuing with the wheel metaphor. The wheel is here, the wheel of fortune. So what goes up must come down. And we must remember that, you know, if you are in a, in a place where you're feeling there's a lot of change happening and it's hard to balance, you know, hard to um, juggle all the things right now, then you're allowed to take your time. And I think that processing that could mean making some sort of plan for how you will eventually put yourself out there. Otherwise, 
if you're more on the eager end, um, just try to appreciate um, the moment by having gratitude for all the things you have accomplished up until now and know that those future decisions will come when the time is right and you will get your chance to uh, flex your new, <laughs> your new abilities. So uh, that's what I have. Happy Friday to all of you and have a good weekend. I'll see you on the next video.